the Knights of Ren were a group of disguised dark side warriors that upheld the concept of Ren, which is symbolised by the lightsaber. The Knights were a gang of renegades from the unknown regions that roamed the galaxy doing havoc. They were followers of the dark side, which they called to as the Shadow, and they were endowed with the might of the Force. The Knights of Ren were formidable foes in battle due to their inherent skills as well as their ability to engage in close quarters and range combat with weapons. The Alliance to Restore the Republic and the Galactic Empire fought each other in the Galactic Civil War, which the Knights of Ren participated in. By the time of the Imperial Era, they were one of the few Force-sensitive populations still alive. The Empire eliminated the Jedi Order and other Force-based organisations throughout the galaxy. Ren, a warrior who served as their leader, embodied the Knights' tenants. They had once joined forces with Lady Hera, the leader of Crimson Dawn. As a result, the Knights helped her achieve her objective of disposing Darth Sidious, the Galactic Emperor and Dark Lord of the Sith, in order to alter the galaxy's power structure. Despite the fall of the Empire, the Knights of Ren persisted in their activities and continued to roam the galaxy during the New Republic era, plundering planets, looking for artefacts and recruiting new members. The new generation of Jedi was destroyed by Ben Solo, the nephew and Padawan of Jedi Master Luke Skywalker, who then joined the Knights by killing Ren. The former Jedi, now known as Kylo Ren, joined the First Order and served as Supreme Leader Snoke's apprentice. The Knights of Ren filled the void left by the destruction of the Sith under Kylo's direction as their master. Kylo was the grandson of the Sith Lord Darth Vader, unlike the Knights of Ren who lacked Force-related training. He possessed the innate might of the bloodline. He had no idea that the Knights of Ren's two legions lay with Sidious, who had been covertly revived on the planet Exegol. The Knights of Ren were Kylo's personal bodyguards during the First Order's resistance war, when he took over as supreme leader from Snoke. They were responsible for upholding Kylo's rule and acting as trackers in search of Rey, a Jedi trainee who fought for the resistance and had a special relationship with Kylo. The Knights met their former master at the Battle of Exegol after Ben Solo's conversion to the light side of the Force, and they were killed in combat by him. The elite and dangerous enforcers of Kylo Ren's will were the Knights of Ren, a group of massed elite warriors who used specialised weaponry for close quarters and range combat. The Knights were from the unknown regions of the galaxy, where legends about perils of undiscovered space were first spread thanks to their fame and renown. Although local traditions cautioned against the Modras known as the Knights of Ren, their precise beginnings remained a mystery because they were either directly related to the old custom or shrouded themselves in its legendarium. Even so, the Knights of Ren under the New Republic were a formidable adversary. They were unmatched in their mastery of martial arts and they thrived in combat and violence. The Knights of Ren were a new breed of warriors imbued with the Force, though not to the same degree as the aforementioned Jedi or Sith. They were neither Jedi or Sith. Kylo Ren, the leader of the Knights of Ren, served as a model for this new wave of followers of the Dark Side that appeared in response to the death of the Sith. Kylo possessed the potential for endless power due to his bloodline's inherent strength, whereas Knights' lack of formal training restricted their ability to connect the Force. The Knights nevertheless shared a bond with the Force's Dark Side. As a result, while near the Knights of Ren, other Force-sensitive beings might feel the frigid presence of the Dark Side. Despite being untamed, the Knights were compared to Inquisitorius, a former generation of Dark Side users and Jedi Hunters who served the Galactic Empire. Despite having only weak Force skills, the Knights' Dark Side flourished during combat. Their martial prowess and fundamental understanding of the Dark Side did not please Jedi Master Luke Skywalker. Skywalker considered the Knights, after defeating six of them with the Force, the clumsy and untrained group. While Skywalker, the final fully trained Jedi Knight, utilised the light side as a blade, 
he created the usage of the dark side to wield in a hammer. Darth Sidious, the Sith Lord, agreed with Skywalker's evaluation of the Knights' abilities, but he also defended them by saying that some duties called for blunt instrument rather than the weapon with high precision. Albrecht, an eccentric Sith metalworker and alchemist renowned for his steady, deft hands, served the knights. Albrecht, an alien whose acute hearing could detect the heat of metal from the tone it made when struck, used unquated Sith forge to repair and enhance the battle armour of the knights. A collection of four pausable arm mechanisms with magnetic forceps and reverse repulsive lift graft focus based made up his other accessories. The tool was used in conjunction with the molten Saracen iron application tool and compressed air cooling nozzle. The Night Buzzard, a specialized Starcraft, carried the Knights. The Night Buzzard, a modified Oblet class transport built by Orsetan Assemblage, was originally a dungeon ship from the penal world of Orsetron in the Unknown Regions. The conveyance was taken over by the knights for their own usage, and they changed its look to match their gloomy aesthetic. They also made rudimentary changes to the engine systems of the ship, which increased thrust but degraded the insulation baffles. As a result, the Night Buzzard released a trail of foul smoke. The most dangerous and enigmatic of Kylo Ren's followers were the Knights of Ren. Despite the fact that Kylo and Supreme Leader Snoke were the only four sensitive members of the First Order, the other knights were not in agreement with it. They were free-ranging, movable organisation with the intention of causing mayhem and violence wherever they went. The knights started to show up more frequently within the First Order after Kylo killed Snoke. The knights who before roamed the galaxy as mercenaries and murderers now serve as defenders of Kylo's rule as the new Supreme Leader. However, as the knights would not answer to anyone else, only Kylo had the power to command them. Friction between the knights and the members of the Supreme Council resulted from this extreme dedication to one person. The knights did not pursue Kylo when he was converted to the light side of the Force and reverted back to Ben Solo. Even though he had come to think of his knights as his true brothers, they had already been Sidious' minions before he had even met them. Therefore, he had never really been loyal to the so-called master. The aspiring knight had to select a worthy victim to kill in order to become a member of the Knights of Ren. The ritual's conclusion was described as a good death. Another requirement for joining the knights was for sensitivity. They only took those with this trait because it gives them natural connection to the dark side of the force. The knights would rather kill them than accept anyone who could not feel the force even if the non-force user was more inclined to their way of thinking than a possible recruit. A personal sacrifice such as a murder of a family member or a military triumph or an adversary could satisfy the death criterion to join the knights. Also, the knights disregarded killings that happened by mistake or due to hesitancy since they require the recruit had to voluntarily kill the target. Ben Solo was forewarned by Snoke that he would pay a heavy price in order to join the Knights of Ren, after the knight, known as Ren, previously demanded that a potential member kill his own brother. Candidates who paid the price were accepted into the group and joined. Those who did not would be put to death. Others rarely sought out the Knights of Ren, according to Snoke, and those who did frequently regretted it. The Knights of Ren didn't follow a code, according to Sidious, who claimed this in his book of the Secrets of the Sith. The Knights led a flexible lifestyle and did as they pleased because they were prepared to do whatever it took to win. They thought the Dark Side had given them everything they had. The Ren, a lightsaber owned by Kylo Ren's master, Ren, served as a symbol of the Knight's philosophy. Ren claimed that Ren's nature was one of the simple existence. It didn't acknowledge or express morality, regret, or worry for things it would have damaged because of its lack of conscience. Ren had such a personal conviction in this idea that he did not regard himself as an individual or the master of the knights. 
The lightsaber and all it stood for was embodied by all the knights, even Ren himself. Only fidelity of the shadow of the dark side of the Force matched their devotion to the path of Ren. The knights sought for those who had a strong affinity with the dark side rather than just any force sensitive people to join their ranks. Ren felt the dark in both of them, which led to him to consider a mass murderer and a child for membership. The knights especially, those who were after Jedi treasures, thought they had the right to grab everything and anything. They did not give Luke Skywalker's claim to ownership of the entire Jedi Order any consideration because of this. Ren had limited comprehension of the Jedi Code, but he had a sneaking suspicion that the ideological gaps between the Jedi and the Knights were too great to allow for their coexistence. Skywalker was not impressed by their ways, but his young apprentice, Ben Solo, was. He thought the Knights for years and years before he finally deserted the Jedi Order to join their ranks, because of the lawlessness and power. Hello there invaders, welcome to Star Wars Invader. Over the coming days I'll be focusing on the mysterious Knights of Ren, with some information you might not have heard about. So if interested, keep checking in. Like and subscribe, until the next time, on Star Wars Invader.